Hi babe, it's me, your new wife. I know I shouldn't be doing this censorship and all that, but I heard that you and your platoon had been held up, so I thought I'd send you something, on the off chance it might get through. They don't tell us anything, I don't know any details, of course. Well, you don't mind me contacting you like this, do you? They won't intercept it, will they? You won't get into trouble, will you? I know... I know you said you don't know if they will find it. So, if you're watching this, then I'm guessing it's got through. Or if not, then I'll feel better for sending it anyway. So there. <laughs> they can't complain about that, can they? Listen. I miss you so much. I miss you loads, loads and loads. That You've only been gone a week. My father says I should take comfort in the fact that you're doing your duty as a soldier. I do, of course, but still. Do you know, I've kept the pillow on which you laid your head. Just as it was when you got up from it after our first, our only night together. It's in a cupboard. I had to carry it so carefully so as not to change the dent. Your hair's still on it. I dare not touch it, and I'd be so embarrassed if someone found it. I don't know what the staff do here. I haven't had time to find out. I'm not used to being an officer's wife in charge. That's any downside, I suppose, in getting married so quickly. And then your call-up was so suddenly, I, I didn't have time to find out how things should be done, but... But I want to be a, a good wife for you. Do things properly at home. Make sure everything's ready for when you do come home. I long to curl up in your arms. I can still smell your scent when I pick up your shirt, which I do often. I've hidden that too because I don't want them to wash it. I don't want that to happen ever. Where are you fighting? I know you... You can't tell me exactly, that's all right. I imagine it's on a hill somewhere. That's usually the thing, isn't it? Or on a beach. I can just see you now, pacing up and down and giving orders, leading your men. But I've heard that a storm has held you up. And I wish that it would last forever. All right. All right, I, I know what, I, I've gone too far, but anyone can see that, that I love you and, and I want you home again. We've only just begun, haven't we? It, it, it's so unfair. Half the wedding presents are still wrapped and, and the guests have gone home, of course. We've only just begun. The call-up saying, well, it came so quickly in, in the middle of the party. How inconsiderate. I can still see the, the faces of us girls. All their pretty dresses. and Their makeup and hair just seemed to fade. All that was left was a lot of... Wailing women. To be honest. Me too. There's another thing. I don't know if I should tell you it. But I overheard something at the wedding that really scared me. There was an old man, a guest at the wedding of course. Although I don't know what family he belonged to. But anyway, a lot of people were listening to him. And I overheard him say that the first man to land on enemy soil would be killed. Just like that, dead. I don't know how he knew, but, but people seemed to be taking him very seriously. He said Hector was the man to watch out for. I've heard of him. Now listen, you lovely madman you. I know what you're like. 
always wanting to to be there that the first in everything ahead of the queue and all that and I know that you want to set an example to your men they love you by the way do you know that they do not like I do but but they do I've seen how they listen to you they'd follow you anywhere but seriously could you hold back a bit let someone else go in first <laughs> please i know I, i'm being silly it, it's just superstition and all that but i'm worried i'm really really worried and if you must go in could you just avoid anyone called hector all right would you do that for me, if not for yourself? The night you left, I dreamed that I was carrying your child. Ah, oh, child. I know that we've only spent one night together, but I beg the gods let it be so. Because I want something of you, something real to hold on to forever. I've got your shirt and pillow and that's fine, but but that's not you. And I know that our son will be just like you. Strong. Handsome. And a little bit on the rough side. I like that, because you don't pretend to be anything other than you are. But he'll be kind and gentle with horses like you and gentle with women just like you are too you're just so wonderful shall i tell you another secret i've made a little doll quite a while ago well, it's not very good yet. you know i'm not very good at that sort of thing I could hardly ask someone else to make it now, could I? But, but to me, it's just like you. And since you've left, I talk to it at night. and Sometimes I think it answers me back. Well, I hear your voice, at least. And I tell it that I love you. And, and it tells me that you love me too and you'll come back soon. And that's all I want, all I ever want. They say it'll be over in a few weeks and you'll return home victorious. May it please the gods let it be so and may you be at the head of them when they come back too. No, really, I, I don't care about all that. I just, I just want you home, safe in one piece. I don't want to have to visit your grave and cope with you in bits. Although I will, if I have to. I, I just don't want to. Now, listen, my darling. Take care and think of me often. Remember, you're a married man now with responsibilities. Don't forget. And don't get into anything nasty. Promise me. And if you care for me at all, take care of yourself, please. Love you. <laughs>